electricity must flow in circuits. On the left we have a drawing. It's not a circuit. It's not complete. Electricity cannot flow in that circuit. In the circuit on the right, the circuit is complete. Electricity can flow from the battery through the light bulb and back to the battery. So in that case, current will flow from the positive terminal of the battery through the bulb and back to the negative terminal of the battery. As it leaves the positive terminal, the current has high energy. That energy gets exchanged in the light bulb and converted to heat energy or light energy or both and then the current returns at a much lower energy level to the battery. Inside the battery chemical energy converts to electrical energy and that allows the energy at the positive terminal to be high energy. We use conventional current flow. That is because of Benjamin Franklin's naming of positive and negative about 250 years ago, although we know current flows in the form of electrons from the negative to the positive, because of the conventions that have existed for the last 250 years, we draw our circuits as current flowing from the positive to the negative. So our conventional current flow current is shown there as I and we draw current as leaving the positive terminal of the battery and returning after it goes through the circuit to the negative terminal. If current is leaving the positive terminal of a battery we consider that that uh, is supplying energy to the circuit. If current is entering the positive terminal of anything then that then is absorbing energy from the circuit. So as a reminder, we use conventional current flow where we draw the current flowing from the positive terminal through the circuit and returning to the negative terminal.